you'll have to pardon my crazy hair because this is what you get when you watch a noir first and take a shower second on a morning. Uh, but what better way to start a Monday morning than watching a film noir? Not much. Oh, there's a kitty. Um, <laughs> she. You ever have a cat that just like meows at random places on the wall and you're like, is there like... A demon on the wall? Is that what you're, you're meowing at? Because there's nothing there. Anyways, that's more of a Halloween thought, but cats are creepy. Um, anyways, I started tonight, today, this morning's um, film noir was actually a color noir, color cinemascope noir from Warner Brothers uh, from the mid-50s, 1955, was I Died a Thousand Times, which is a remake of High Sierra. Uh, obviously, you know, High Sierra, Ida Lupino, uh, Humphrey Bogart, great film, Ron Walsh. This one was Jack Palance and Shelley Winters, but it also featured Lee Marvin, uh, Pedro Gonzalez Gonzalez, Lon Chaney Jr., and uh, brief moments with both Nick Adams and Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper gets a line. Lee Marvin has brown hair. It is real creepy. Um, and a very cute dog. I don't know if the dog had a name. Um, the actor dog had a name, but it was a really cute dog. And uh, this was made, remade again, or this was a, this third remake of High Sierra. High Sierra was also remade as a Western Colorado Territory with Joel McRae in 1949. So any, anytime you like see people bitching about Hollywood remaking stuff and how Hollywood's run out of ideas. Hollywood was always out of ideas, um, and Hollywood was always remaking films. So just keep, keep, keep that in mind. Hollywood remade itself all the time. I enjoyed this. Um, I thought Jack Palance was great. It's one of the least menacing Jack Palance performances, and that's sort of the character, um, much like in High Sierra, he's he's a, a criminal, but he's sort of a criminal with a heart of gold, because he's a bank robber, but he's not he's not like he's a soft spot for for um, underdogs, and he yeah, has dogs. Uh, and actually, his name is Mad Dog, so there you go. Um, he's good, and he uh, ha exudes power, but also uh, empathy, and so you. you you end up liking him. But because this film is made in 1955 and you're in the um, production code, you know it's not going to end well for him because he's a, he's a bad guy. Um, Shelley Winters, on the other hand, slight spoiler alert, Shelley Winters does not die in this movie. There used to be this great list um, floating around the internet called uh, She Was Expendable, and it was like all the movies in which Shelley Winters died. Unfortunately, that list doesn't exist anymore. Um, I think maybe I screenshotted it a while ago. I always thought it was just the greatest title for a list. Poor Shelley Winters. The funny thing about Shelley Winters is she's so beautiful, right? But she's always, almost always made to look plain or older than she is. And then that's usually her main character trait. And that's kind of a bummer. Um, it's also fun to see Pedro Gonzalez Gonzalez. He is the, he was in a lot, lots and lots of films. And he is the great, or he's the grandfather of Clifton Collins Jr. And when you see, like, young Pedro Gonzalez Gonzalez side by side with Clifton Collins Jr., you're like, holy shit, they have the same face. They're, like, carbon copies of each other, practically. Um, anyways, so the plot is that they're going to rob uh, the Tropico, which is this fancy, you know, like, spa, basically, and but things go awry because you know they're gonna go awry and it's all shot up in the mountains uh I think this was actually shot up in the beautiful um high sierras it really looked like it was anyways um uh, beautiful use of of, of warner color um uh, jack palance drives around in this like like robin's egg blue car and it looks like it's something straight out of a douglas sirk movie it's fantastic um and shelly winters just i can't say how great she is enough. I think she's just one of the great actresses. And she's she has a very distinct style, so I think if you don't like Shelley Winters, you don't like Shelley Winters, and that's kind of a bummer because you shouldn't not like Shelley Winters. She's, she's just great. I've, like, never... Even even her later films, like Steppin' Out, I think is what it is, the one with Liza Minnelli, even in those later films, I still 
think she's fantastic. And so anyways, I love ShellyWinters.com. So, uh, we, Lee Marvin doesn't get a lot to do because this is early in his career and he's a bit of a buffoon in terms of, he's basically like hired thug kind of, kind of guy who is definitely not the mastermind and probably would never make it to being a mastermind. Um, this movie was actually released on November 9th, 1955. So we're almost, um, on, lined up with it. I should save this for Wednesday. Shoot. Except that it's going to expire. I watched it on uh, the Watch TCM app, and it's going to expire tomorrow. So actually, you can't watch it on the anniversary. But you have one more day to watch it if you want to watch it. It's also available, I believe, from Warner Archive Collection on DVD. So uh, I definitely think it is worth your time. Uh, it'd be interesting to watch it back-to-back -back with High Sierra and sort of compare and contrast. Like, High Sierra has a great line about driving with a woman and a dog that's really really zingy and I kept waiting for that line in this version and they had the line but it was definitely not as good like they were like well we can't use the exact same line so we'll give them something similar but it wasn't it wasn't even a good line it, like it wasn't a good insult it wasn't a good zinger it was just like we threw it in there for those of you who've seen High Sierra and I'm like come on so anyways uh this was Stuart Heisler's I Died a Thousand Times I'm not sure where the title came from in this one because he doesn't die a thousand times. He dies once. Um, spoiler alert. From 1955, and it's a color noir. And anyone who tells you that noir can't be in Technicolor or a Warner Color is wrong. And you can just send them to me, and I'll be like, let me tell you about color noir because it exists. And then I'll make them watch this and uh, leave her to heaven in Niagara and tell me that color noir does not exist because it does. It does. Happy uh, first week of November coming to a close. Yay!